Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is History of Power Rangers Season 1, Episode 33 of my show, but this is about Episode 36. Now, um, Episode 36 in the original Power Rangers series, it, I, but before I actually start talking about it, I, I, I just want to mention, since we're on episode 36, that means we're three videos away from the next two-part uh, episode, which, again, as I told you guys uh, when I did my previous final two-part, uh, for the first two-parter of the 30 segment... Uh, what I am going to do is, you see, the last two remaining two-parters, at least in this first season, don't start until the next one, which is the Doomsday two-part episode, doesn't start until episode 39 and doesn't go till episode 40, and then the next one after that doesn't start till episode 49 and goes to episode 50. So, yeah, we're like three, about like three videos away from the Doomsday two-part episode, which is going to be the uh, second last two-part video episode that I'm going to be to talking about. I say second last one because the first last one, the actual last one is... It's the return of an old friend. I just thought I'd bring that up uh, since I mentioned uh, since um I, I just thought I'd mention that since we're getting close to the second last two part episode. Anyway uh, now getting into it. This is History of Power Rangers Season 1 Episode 33 of my show but this is about Episode 36. And, uh, episode 36 is known as Birds of a Feather. Uh, but before I actually start talking about it, I, I, I just want to mention something very quickly. Uh, just so that no one does get confused about this, because there is another bird-like monster that the Rangers will fight in the next episode, which will be actually based off of a bird... Uh, well, the monster that the Rangers are going to fight in this episode is known as the... Uh, oh, I'll explain... A, uh, the actual monster that the Rangers are going to fight in this episode isn't really a bird-based monster, but it's a, sort of like a bird hybrid monster. That's all I'm going to mention about it for right now. Um, anyway, what happens is basically... What happens in the episode... Uh, Zack is, uh, helping this, uh, kid named Cameron prepare for a, uh, karate tournament at the Angel Grove Youth Center, basically, and what happens is, after Cameron tells Zack that he can't do it, he, he, he doesn't think he can win the competition because there's a karate competition for young kids that's happening uh, in at the youth center in this episode. So that's why I, I guess I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but I forgot to. Anyway, uh, what basically happens is after that, after that, then Bulk and Skull show up. Um... With a student that Bulk is teaching named Biff, basically. And then, um... And then basically what happens is... After Bulk kind of does this little mocking to... Uh, Zach about telling him how Biff is going to... Um... Beat Cameron in the... Karate competition. Um, he basically uh, does this little demonstration of his skills, and then basically after that, 
uh, they get a little uh, nervous. I, I, I don't know if it's nerves or anything, but it might be. Anyway, um, then it goes to where, uh, oh, before I actually continue, I might make this one maybe a little bit of a shorter video because I, I don't have much battery on my iPad, so what I might do is I'll, I'll record this now. What I'm doing now is I'll record it, but... Maybe I won't upload it till later today, maybe in the evening or something today, so so I'll record this now, as I said uh now getting uh back on topic after um uh that basically what happens is. Um, basically what happens after that is then it goes to a scene where Rita is on the moon and, uh, basically she's coming up with this plan, uh, to, uh, To send a, I might make this video a little bit of a quick one, but the only reason I'm, I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to mention this now anyway, I might make this, oh my god, never mind guys, oh, sorry, anyway, um, what happens is, after that, After she figures out a way to destroy the rangers, basically, uh, she goes over to where Finster is, and then Finster tells her about this new monster that he has for her, which is, this is going to sound kind of funny, but the monster uh, that he creates for Rita this time is sort of a two-part monster. Now, what I mean by two-part monster, I don't mean that it's, well, it's technically two creatures in one, kind of, because in this case, it, the monster that uh, Rita has been to create for her is a, is a bird-like monster known as the Hatch Hatchasaurus. Now, I'll explain a little bit more about the Hatchasaurus uh, when I get to the part where uh, Zordon is explaining to the rangers about what it is. Um, anyway, I guess I can explain a little bit about the Hatchasaurus now since I brought it up. So, basically what I meant when I said the Hatchasaurus monster was a two-part monster is because it's, it's not that it's two creatures, but it's one creature, but there's an external entity, like a computer-based entity inside the Hatchasaurus, it's called the Cardiotron. Oh, which is sort of like a organic, like, computer that is inside the Hatchasaurus. Oh, now that I brought it up about the Hatchasaurus, this is the first of two times in the original Power Rangers series where the Hatchasaurus will show up. I say this, the first of two is because the reason why I say that is because he will show up again in season two. I'm not going to mention the episode n number because I want to save season two for when I get to it. I just thought I mentioned the season. I, I, I don't want to mention what episode number because I want to save that season for when I get to it, basically. And then... Anyway, I, I, I just thought I'd bring it up because the Hatchasaurus is going to show up. Uh, in season two, I just, that's why I wanted to bring it up, guys. Uh, sorry about that, I just wanted to bring that up because I felt it was relevant because the Hatchasaurus is the monster that's going to reappear in another episode, in another season of the, of the original Power Rangers series. Anyway, uh, continuing on with what I was saying, um, 
after um what basically happens is after that um basically what happens is after that the rangers uh their communicators beep which it, uh, Zordon contacts the rangers on the communicators uh while um actually what happens is Rita sends the Hatchosaurus monster down to Earth, and then when the Hatchosaurus monster is on Earth, um, basically Zordon contacts the other Rangers on uh, their communicators to tell them about the latest monster, which is the Hatchosaurus. So Jason answers, and and then after he tells them about the situation, um, he goes to get Zack because of, because of the fact that they're needed at the command center, and then when Zack is about to leave, he tells Cameron that he's got to take care of something, and then, uh, the Cameron character that, uh, that Zack is training for the chronic competition basically he um said that he can't do it without him so he's kind of feeling a little down well basically he's having a little bit of a self-confidence issue like he's not believing in himself which is kind of reminiscent of the island of illusion uh two-part video that i did separately i just thought i'd mention that anyway um Basically what happens is then the rangers show up in the command center and then um basically what happens is Zordon tells the rangers about Rita's latest monster called the Hatchosaurus and then they go to after that they go to fight the Hatchosaurus and they manage uh After that, what basically happens is then, after that, the rangers morph to fight the Hatchosaurus after Zordon tells them about it. Um, basically, what happens is, after they destroy the Hatchosaurus, because technically they have to fight the Hatchosaurus twice in this episode, but the only reason they have to fight it twice is because of Cardiotron, which is its computer-based organism that lives, which is, like I said, is a computer-based organism that lives inside the Hatchosaurus. So basically, without destroying the Cardiotron, Hatchosaurus will keep coming back regardless. So, anyway, uh, getting back into it, um, um, after they destroy the Hatchosaurus monster the first time, uh, Zordon calls the rangers back to the uh, command center and he tells them that the Hatchosaurus monster isn't destroyed and then the rangers get a little skeptical about that because they think it's destroyed but it's not really. And then he, he tells them that um, they also have to destroy Cardiotron which as I said again, is is the computer-based organism that is a part of the Hatchosaurus monster. I just uh, and then they go to locate the Cardiotron monster, like the Cardiotron computer, which is a part of the monster. And the Cardiotron, it actually does play a huge part in the monster's destruction because as long as Cardiotron still exists. The Hatchosaurus monster will keep coming back no matter how many times it's destroyed. So it's basically, it's one of the ultimate monsters that the rangers have to fight in, uh, in no matter how many times it's destroyed, it just keeps coming back kind of thing. So it's, it, it, it's like one of those, uh... I can provide an example, like it's one of those things where, uh, I, 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 uh, I might have to make a technical Greek mythology kind of reference here because of the 
Cardi is trying to... <laughs> it's kind of like that uh, Greek creature known as the Hydra Monster, which is that uh, serpent creature that has multiple heads. And no matter how many times... And it just... If you cut off one of its heads, two more grow back in its place. And in a technical sense, that's kind of what this is. Because without Cardiotron being destroyed, the Hatchosaurus just keeps coming back regardless. So it's a repetitive process. I just wanted to get that out of the way. And then after Zordon uh, locates the Cardiotron... Uh, uh, Jason goes to fight the Cardiotron monster, part of the Hatchosaurus monster on his own, after uh, the Hatchosaurus is reformatted and he goes, um, well actually they fight the Hatchosaurus monster in the Megazord, and then afterward, after a little bit of fighting in the Megazord, basically what happens is Jason goes inside the Hatchosaurus monster to deal with Cardiotron, and then, and then when he and Cardiotron start fighting, <laughs> Jason starts playing um, the Dragon Zord flute that he got from Tommy in the previous episode because of the transfer of the Green Ranger powers over to him, basically. Um, so basically, he, he's basically got the Green Ranger's primary weapon in this episode. At least for the rest of this first season, well, at, at least until the Return of an Old Friend two-part episode. I, I, I just thought I'd get that out of the way. And then, while he's fighting the Cardiotron, uh, the Cardiotron monster is telling, the Cardiotron part of uh, the Hatchosaurus monster is telling the Red Ranger that he's a excellent opponent, it's a pity that he has to destroy him, and then, then they fight the Cardiotron monster, well, well then Jason fights the Cardiotron when he's out of the monster after getting it out of the Hatchosaurus' body, and he manages to destroy it, and that in turn destroys Hatchosaurus, um, which kind of ultimately It leads to the Rangers victory and stuff. And then basically what happens after that is I'm guessing uh, Rita gets upset that she lost again. And uh, basically what happens after that is then it goes into a scene um, where... Uh, the Rangers are back in the youth center. Oh, before I finish the video, I just want to mention uh, again, guys, I'm sorry that this video is a little... I, I, I explained at the beginning that this video was probably going to have to be a little bit shorter than my other ones. Uh, that's only because of the battery on my iPad. It's really low right now, so I'm... Only if the battery is really low will I be making short videos from now on. Um, but if I do have enough, I will do longer ones than this. I, 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 I just, I thought I'd get that out of the way as a little technical segment. Anyway, uh, continue, getting back into it, then it, basically, then it shows where the Rangers are in the youth center with the karate competition. Uh, like, I'm guessing it was the junior one because it had to do with little kids again. And, uh, Zach is apologizing to Cameron for, uh, leaving, uh, so suddenly during the competition at some, at the point where Zordon contacted them, uh, but he promises him that he's there for him for the rest of the competition, basically, and then... And then basically, um, then, uh, Cameron had his, has his Magic Against Bulbs, uh, student that he's training known as Biff, 
And then, while they're doing the match, Bulk is telling Skull that he's going to hit Cameron with the... Biff is going to manage to beat Cameron with the new moves he taught him. And then, basically, afterward, Cameron manages to defeat Biff. And then after Cameron manages to defeat him... Uh, Biff is congratulating him, and then he's going off to where Bulk is, and then Bulk is telling him, why didn't he use the new move he taught him? And he says, what, this move? And then, where he kind of does this thing with, uh, like, kind of a cheap shot thing with Bulk, and then he basically says that he's getting a new coach, and then the, then... Uh, basically what happens after that is, um, uh, Zach is congratulating Cameron for winning the karate competition, and, and then, that's kind of basically where this episode stops. Uh, so if you guys like this video, when I post it, I'm probably not gonna post this today, I might post it tomorrow, uh, so when I post it tomorrow, just please give it the real best you guys can, and I'll see you guys sometime tomorrow for the next video, so until then guys, like I always tell you with this series, may the power protect you always.